Officious, and I'm back with more of Surviving Mars Space Race. Well, you might be wondering why there haven't been any videos in a few weeks, and I'll get into that uh, in a moment. But, um, yeah, I'd like to get to the game. Just have water tonight again. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually played this. Well, mostly because of the technical issues. Uh, yeah, I guess I can talk about that. So, a few weeks ago, I tried powering up my monitor, and it wouldn't turn on. So I ended up having to get a new computer new monitor. But uh, apparently I couldn't actually record with that one, because it didn't have a DVI-D port, and it looks like my, uh, my NVIDIA graphics card was hardwired to that port at one point. So, yeah, NVIDIA share wouldn't work. At least, I'm pretty sure that was happened. So, so yeah, I, anyway, about a week ago, I put in an order for a power cable that's compatible with the older monitor. And, well, I tried it recently, and turns out that was the entire problem. Something must have shorted out with the old power adapter, I guess. So, yeah, I can now get this working. Although, oddly enough, I can't, I don't, I'm not sure if I can have this monitor running with the other monitor as well for recording, because it seems to default to the VGA cable on the new monitor instead of the DVI-D cable on this monitor. I may have to adjust my settings or something. But, uh, yeah. I can actually record again, although, well, let's see. I hope it will work. But, um, yeah, let's see. I, last time I think we fi I finished up the mysterious, yeah, the St. Almost Fires Lights mystery. And so now I think we're just working on trying to stabilize this colony. Um, hmm. Okay. I mean, I think I'm also trying to get, uh, yeah, sponsor goals. I've done, yeah. So, here. Yeah, I'm thinking of putting a medium dome over here to connect it with this dome. There's a lot of vacant work slots. Um, hmm, do we have, we have some unemployment in this dome. Could, can I open another shift somewhere? Oh, I better switch these cover crops to corn. And then let's see. Alright, there's, there's not unemployment here anymore. Um, okay, well, there's the cold wave over. Um, so... To, I'd like to close down my subsurface heaters. There we go. Yeah, I'm also thinking of building some wonders, maybe. Oh, yeah, I think we're research right now researching mobile. Yeah, that would definitely help. Although, we still will power. But no, we're in a power surplus now, though. So, although we're low on, low on metals, that's because... We're still using a lot of metals in maintenance. Okay, so maybe... Hmm, what if I got rid of the, wa the smaller water towers? And then I'll cut down on metal maintenance a bit. Uh, right, let's subsurf... Okay, let's... And let's clear them out. Because I think the two large water tanks might be sufficient. So I'll cut down on... Oh, now we've slowed down. Okay, that's fine for now. Um, what else are we using? We're using metals to repair subsurface heaters. Okay. And... Okay, maybe we can now, now put... Um, what about, can I put a hanging garden here now? I think so. It's going to take a lot to maintain that. A lot of concrete, at least. Okay, let's speed back up a little bit. Um. Okay, do we have... 
what else do we need? Well, maybe some dumping grounds over here. Some more dumping grounds over here. Um. Okay. If I put some over here, then maybe this. Maybe these drones will start moving this way. Just rock low. Yeah, I could use a few more drones. Oh. Well, uh, let's leave it at eight. And then, um. I'm just trying to think where I want to put the... Where, well, I'm thinking about where to put the mohole. Um, I don't know, here would be okay, although... I could probably fit a dome in there instead. What if I remove this fuel depot? Maybe... Yeah, and plus another dome would give a vis... Could get a vista bonus, although... Can I even get a medium do dome or a... An oval dome in? Yeah, I could get an oval dome. Interesting. Oh, wait, maybe here-ish. We still have a food shortage somehow? Oh, better change out these covered crops. Okay. Uh, huh. Okay, maybe I need some more living space. Uh, maybe actually, maybe I could use a spire here as well. Um, See an apartment building. Yeah, we do have water. We do have enough water that I could get another hand garden in, I guess. That might help. Maybe I need okay, yeah, we're starting to get some homelessness here. Vacant works less here. What unemployed here? What else was I thinking of doing out here? Missing a couple weeks has definitely not helped. Okay, well, there's Mohole. Um, what are we doing next? Bioscaping, then automation, then moisture farming. Uh, yeah, we have East Rock liquefaction now. Um, maybe sustainable architecture as well. Okay, but let's see if I can actually get a Mohole mine. Let's see. Oh, I don't have enough metals, and now I don't have enough concrete. And I don't have enough machine parts either. And now we're low on electronics again. Well, I wonder. Oh, huh. There's a supply pod here I could salvage. Hmm. We have a ton of resources. What about orbital engineering, maybe? I don't know. I still need a lot of concrete. Maybe large scale excavation. That would give us concrete. Let's move that up a bit. And what were we doing? Oh yeah, I was thinking moisture farming. Although maybe architecture and then moisture farming. I think we can actually have a excavator. That would solve the concrete problems, I think, although we still have problems with metals. have to exploit some other of these metal deposits. Um, okay, yeah, the explorer's all the way out there. I can just bring it back now. I mean, we could technically salvage it, but it's generating research as well, so it's probably more useful to keep it around for the small research boost. Okay, yeah, we're starting to get some unemployment, additional unemployment and homelessness. Do I have smart homes yet? I don't remember, no. Okay, maybe I should put that in the queue as well. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, smart homes, architecture, and moisture farming. All right. That should be better. Um, yeah. Well, I've been passing the time mostly by playing other games, just to be honest. I've been playing some Grand Theft Auto 4, which uh, I had 
looks pretty good on the new monitor. I've got a slightly higher resolution available to me. I just wish I could record it. I don't know, I may have to change from NVIDIA Share to OBS or some other recording program software. But... I don't know, the problem is if I could get it working. Although I don't think I want to record that particular game at the moment, after this. I've also been play playing some more of Dragon Quest Builders on the PlayStation 4, which um, I've had for a while, but I'm trying to 100% the game now, so I just have to uh, complete a few more things, and I should have a Platinum Trophy. But, um, it's been fun. I've been... I mean, I really like builders. I I used to play a lot of Minecraft about, what was it, nine, or eight or nine years ago, like around the time it came out. I actually bought into the alpha, and it was interesting for a while, but I don't know. I lost the interest. That, that tends to happen to me. I get interested in something for a couple months, and then I burn out and move on to something else. But, um... I like Dragon Quest Builders a lot more than Minecraft. Well, and I think it's mostly because I like Dragon Quest a lot more than Minecraft. I like the theming of the game because, again, it's Dragon Quest. I've, I've played, I think, let's see, I've played Dragon Warrior 1 on the Game Boy Color, and I've played... Some, Dragon Warrior 3 on the Game Boy Color, and I've played Dragon Warrior Monsters on the Game Boy Color. I haven't played any of the more recent Dragon Quest games, aside from Builders. And I'm kind of looking forward to Builders 2 coming out in the US. I've heard that the Japanese release of the game had issues, but I'm hoping that they can get sorted out before the game gets ported. It's supposed to come out sometime mid-year. I think that that'd be interesting. But yeah, I like I like the I like it's it's the game has you know it does not as much freedom as Minecraft, but there's a lot more structure I think. So you know. I don't know if this is making any sense. But I suppose I also like, you know, that you can get villagers who will build things for you if, if you make the right buildings for them. And, you also, and I also like that, you know, sometimes monsters will join you, at least in the free build mode. You can have monster companions, which that's pretty cool. It's not really... Well, I mean, you can sort of do that in Minecraft because you can domesticate some mobs, but... You know, I like the idea of having a slime in my party. It makes me pretty nostalgic for Dragon Warrior monsters. I'd like to see Square Enix release Dragon Quest Monsters Terry's Wonderland in the U.S., but that game was released in Japan seven years ago, so if they were going to port it, they would have done it years ago. I don't think that it's ever going to happen. Uh, anyway, how is um, this coming on? Okay, we are water neutral now. Oh, and all our storage tanks are full. Maybe I should build another one. Uh, but I better check on the radius of the... Okay, I could put another storage tank here, and then it should be protected during cold waves. There we go. Although, that's going to cost metal, and we're not producing a lot of metal right now. Uh, I'm stuck in a cycle, aren't I? I need more resources so I can get enough resources to restabilize. But the only way to get those resources is to expand out. 